Today, we will learn how to use Ozobot Blockly. You will need an Ozobot fully charged and calibrated and the Ozobot Blockly editor. After today's lesson, you will be able to use Ozobot Blockly to navigate through Ozobot Blockly's levels, connect and program loops, light effects, sound, and timing blocks, delete unneeded blocks, and run your program on your Ozobot using Bluetooth. Ozobot Blockly is a block-based editor, which allows you to create programs for Ozobot using blocks that can be rearranged and connected like puzzle pieces. Programs written with Ozobot Blockly can be sent wirelessly to Ozobot via Bluetooth, and Ozobot will run the program. First, let's define two vocabulary words, code and program. Code is instructions written in a programming language. A program is a complete set of instructions written in code that the computer executes to achieve a particular objective. What's the difference? Think of it this way. Pieces of code are combined to create programs. Today, you will use Ozobot Blockly to build and run block-based programs. On the left side of the screen, at the top, you'll see you can choose which device you are using. For our lesson today, be sure that Evo is highlighted. Below that, there are numbers one through five. These are the five levels that contain the blocks used for programming. As you go from level one to level five, there are more block categories containing more advanced blocks. Today, you'll be working with level two. Find and click on level two. What block categories do you see? In level two, notice the five block categories, movement, light effects, timing, loops, and sounds. Click on each block category and notice there are different types of blocks in each one. What do you think the blocks in each category will tell your bot to do? Movement programs your bot to move in different ways. Light effects programs Ozobot's LED lights. Timing controls the time between blocks. Loops program repeating sequences. And sounds programs your bot to make different noises. Find the workspace in the center of the window. This is the area where you build your program. Let's practice. Click on light effects, then click on rainbow to add it to your workspace. Your turn. Add a rainbow block to your workspace by clicking on it. Next, let's review the four icons found in the workspace. The four icons are a trash can, a pair of blocks, a left arrow, and a right arrow. Select the rainbow block by clicking on it. You'll know it is selected when the block is outlined in white. Now click on the copy icon, which has a plus symbol on it. When you click this icon, a copy of the selected block is created. Next, click on the undo button, which is the arrow turning to the left or counterclockwise, which undoes your last action. Now click on the redo button, which is the button turning right or clockwise. In this case, it brings the block back. Practice using the copy, undo, and redo icons. There are four ways to delete blocks. First, drag and drop a block or group of blocks into the side panel area. Second is to drag and drop blocks over the trash icon. Third is to right click and select delete. The final way is used to completely delete everything. Click on the trash and select yes to delete all blocks. Choose a way to delete all the blocks in your workspace. Are you ready to construct a program? You'll start with a simple program that gets Ozobot to move. Click on the movement category. Click on the top block in the list to add it to your workspace. Notice there are three drop-down menus. In level two, the blocks use drop-down menus to adjust the code. In more advanced levels, there are fields you can type in. Let's practice with the drop-downs and adjust the number of steps to 10. My block now reads, move forward 10 steps, speed medium. Add the move block to the workspace and adjust the number of steps to 10. Time to run your program. 
Connect your bot by clicking on the bot icon and following the on-screen instructions. Then click Run Program and observe your bot. Did your bot do what you programmed it to do? Add more to your program by choosing blocks from the other categories and connect them to the move block in your workspace. Adjust some of the pull-down menus. When using a loop block, explore what happens when you put code blocks in the loop. You'll learn more about loops in a later lesson. Based on your program, what do you think the bot will do? Add a block from each category to your program. Adjust the dropdowns, run the program, and observe the behavior of your bot. Great work constructing your first program with Ozobot Blockly. Now you should know how to navigate through Ozobot Blockly's levels, connect and program loops, light effects, sounds, and timing blocks, delete unneeded blocks, and run your program on your Ozobot using Bluetooth. If you're looking for more, you can continue to explore the different levels of Ozobot Blockly and build different programs. Come back again soon for our next lesson.